In this video, we're going to have a look at some tools that you can use to help with your note taking. So there are many different reasons why you might take notes. You might take, want to take lecture notes, notes on your reading, some quick notes in, that you may just have to refer to later in your life, C notes that are very closely connected to each other, but also you may want to take audio notes. So let's have a look at five tools that may actually fit your needs in this area. And I want to talk about Notion, OneNote, Evernote, Google Keep, and Author AI. And these are tools that actually I personally use all of them for different purposes. So let's have a look at them one by one. So first, Google Keep. So Google Keep is a very simple note-taking app, and it is great for quick lists, shopping lists, also quick photos or pictures that you need to remind yourself. So for example, here is uh, my reminder of the, the reading electricity meter. Here are a quick... Uh, the reminder to check out these tools. I often use it for my shopping list. So if I see an interesting sign, I may I may take a picture of that as well. And so that's that's that that is where I take my quick notes that I don't need to perhaps uh, link together too much or or use beyond a very very sort of short amount of time. Uh, but there are tools that I uh, actually give me much more much more ability to to collect things. And Evernote is one of those. Evernote is one of the original note taking apps. One of the uh, the the old standards. And perhaps many people are moving away from it because it hasn't kept up with time, with the times. But uh, one thing that it is great for is collecting a long list of resources in various notebooks. So you can, you can do that. And what it's particularly good at is for integrations because it has been around so, for so long. There are many other tools that integrate with it and send data to it. And uh, so, so I will use that and uh, Evernote for that very often. Now, OneNote is a, is, 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 a, is a competitor to Evernote and it is much more visual. And it's great for taking notes in lectures because it's, it, it is possible to create multiple notebooks and then have pages and subpages, but you can have things that are s s with, together with each other side by side. And the one great feature that you, ha you can have with OneNote is that it's really great for taking photos of screens. So if, you, if you're in a lecture and you need to take a picture of something that's got going, uh, being presented, OneNote will, will do that really easily. So I often take notes in OneNote uh, as, as I'm sitting in a lecture, and then I use my phone as well to take pictures, and it will insert it directly into OneNote, and actually it will make a really uh, good job of converting what's on the screen in, into text. And so, so often it's much better quality than just taking a picture with your phone camera. Now, there is a new, uh, new favorite or sort of a new exciting tool that lots of people are talking about, and that is Notion. Notion is really great if you need to combine a lot of tools. For example, even allows you to do some project management and uh, c collect things together in your research. And for example, the one of the great feature of, of Evernote is that you can create databases with it. So the database th uh, that lists all the tools that I have uh, collected for these videos is made in Notion, and I can easily share it. So Notion is really great, and also it is now free for all students. So you can certainly take advantage of that. It doesn't have some of the same nice features around photos that, F that OneNote does, and doesn't have some of the visuality, but it certainly is, is very, again, very powerful. And it is one of the more higher investment tools because it will require a bit of time to get the most out of it, but it will perhaps repay you that investment. And finally, for audio notes, there are, it's not that there are not as many tools, but the one that I would recommend that you look at is Otter.ai. And it is really intended for transcribing of, of meetings and uh, taking meeting notes, but it's also good for just uh, making little audio notes. So you can get a mobile app or use the website. You can upload an audio to it or just directly record it. And what it will do, it will do a transcript of what you're saying, and then you can combine it with uh, pictures and, um, and, and then use those notes uh, to remind yourself of what you want to do. So again, Otter is a tool that uh, isn't primarily for note taking, but it can be really good if, that, if what you want to use is audio for taking your notes. So thank you uh, for watching, and in the next video, we're going to have a look at tools for writing.